What's up y'all? I'm Lady and in today's video, I would like to discuss Tatuba of Salem Village. Unfortunately, I thrifted this book so I do not have the cover. So I'll put the cover right here. This book was written by Ann Petrie and was published in January of 1964. I read this book over the course of three days. It was really fast, only 254 pages, and I I enjoyed it. Um, this focuses on the first three witches accused in the Salem Witch Trials of 1692. And this book is actually considered YA historical fiction, which it provides a great perspective for the Salem Witch Trial, which I didn't have a lot of information on. Of course, I knew about it. And I will say that this book did prompt me to go out and, you know, read a few articles about what took place during this time, you know, where this uh, whole sensation around finding witches became, you know, a thing during that year. So I will say it helped me in that area. Um, I did see that there is another book that focused on Tatuba, which I believe she was the only black or African American um, which I don't think she was considered African American, but she was the only black one woman to be tried in the Salem Witch Trials. So there is another novel um written by her that about her rather that I think that author goes into a lot of detail about her younger life, but in this one we don't get that. So at the start of this book, Tatuba and her husband are in their early 20s enslaved in Barbados. They are purchased by a minister who plans to open a church in Boston, and he has a sick wife, a daughter, and his orphan niece. At first, they settle in Boston, but the minister can't find a church in Boston, so he is recruited by the Salem Village which is about a day's trip away from Boston at this time, right? And so the family, along with Tatuba and her husband, John, um, they moved to this village. And so things is going about, you know, their everyday life, him trying to establish uh, his, you know, congregation and things like that. Well, I knew from the very beginning, his niece, Abigail, was going to be a problem. The whole, the witches are victims of teenage malice, in my opinion. These teenagers are bored and they are acting like they're, they're being possessed and something happens. And I think Abigail, she just was mad at Tatuba because of Tatuba didn't take you know, any mess from her, even though she was an enslaved woman, she didn't take any mess from this child and this child, you know, turned and used that against her and Tatuba and two other ladies in the village end up being the first three placed on trial for being witches, right? So, um, yeah. You know, I did read when I read a few articles, they were saying like, you know, uh, they blamed it on some food or something else. I can't remember as to why this whole phenomenon came about, but I just feel like it was just plain old superstition, you know, church folks not liking things that they don't understand or something like that. I don't know, but you know... I was so upset. I was so upset when she was arrested. And um, her story is well known. So, but I won't spoil it for you for what happens to Tatuba. Um, overall, I think Ann Petra did a great job with this story. Um, and I was sucked in from the beginning. Um, 
And I was pleasantly surprised by the ending since I did not know her story. So this is a novel and all the other books that I see about Tatuba are also novels, but she was a real person from history, right? So that was, you know, my overview of Tatuba of Salem Village. Um, I say this one, like I said, by it being YA, I think, um, and it made it real easy to read. Um, I definitely would recommend it, um, to a younger audience. So this was actually the last book that I finished in April of 23 this year, right? And the next book that I finished was last summer on state street this is the first book that i finished in may this month that we are currently in so in my next video i'll talk about this wonderful book here but that is it for this video i hope you all enjoyed it i'm lady and i will see you all in my next one bye y'all